Our first guest tonight will be taping his latest HBO special on location this Saturday and Sunday at the Metropolitan Opera House right here in New York City. Folks, please welcome Robin Williams. <laughs> It's uh, beautiful to be here in uh, America. Thank you. You look good. You got a you have a mustache. I don't know. I've seen you with a beard. I, I don't believe I've ever seen you with just a mustache. Uh, I like to do this so I feel a little bit more intellectual about my comedy. <laughs> uh, I can basically discuss the history of comedy. Basically, you find these ancient drawings. There's Nefertiti saying to Ramses, "Not tonight. It's my pyramid." Thank you. <laughs> Good to be here. Nice walking down around New York. Somebody just sold me a football league on the street. That's real nice. <laughs> hey, USFL, three dollars. Check it out. Three dollars. <laughs> Don't be afraid, baby. <laughs> Get half the league. Half the league for a dollar fifty. Half the league for a dollar fifty. <laughs> Two teams for fifty cents. Two teams for fifty cents. Yeah, you look great, and you're. Uh, I know you're on your way up. Uh, is Poughkeepsie. It Poughkeepsie? Yeah, and you're doing us a real favor by being here because I know your schedule is nuts. Well, the money is too good. I couldn't miss yeah. this. Yeah, <laughs> that four hundred dollars uh, goes a long way, baby. <laughs> and you're. Uh, That's one toy for the kid. Now, <laughs> how, how do you how do you get to Poughkeepsie from here on this short uh, time? Well, you could go by bus <laughs> or a helicopter to Poughkeepsie. <laughs> Wait at night. Look, it's the police. No, it's just that damn comedian again. <laughs> So you're actually taking a helicopter? I hope. Is this goes from the East uh, East uh, River? Up? Yeah, we leave Basinger with a lot of people named Tad and Biff, Basinger. <laughs> people who are basically going to Mondog and they say, fine, drop off the white boy somewhere north. <laughs> this could be fun, though. What, it... what kind of show in Poughkeepsie is that? It's just a basic comedy show. I think yeah. it's just me and, you know, yeah. just a few folks. How big, how big a room? I don't know, maybe a thousand people, I hope. Yeah, yeah it'll be a good time. And, and you're also, this weekend, you're going to be at the Metropolitan Opera. Yes, I'll, I'll be singing selections from Verdi and Wagner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fat chance out of here. <laughs> It'd be great to think Pavarotti should be singing songs of Prince. Yeah, you need another lover like you need a hole in the head. <laughs> That'd why, be fun. Why, why did you select the Metropolitan Opera House? Damn, it's too damn beautiful, baby. <laughs> I just want people outside going, check it out, Aida, check it out, don't be afraid. Check it out, come to the Met, check it out. See giant earrings from Mrs. Marcos's collection, check it out. <laughs> Should be pretty, I just think it's a great place just to pan around, it'd yeah. be beautiful. Yeah, have you ever been in the place before? Yeah, once, I checked out an opera, it was not bad, yeah. you know. Uh, what, yeah. Do you remember what you saw? I saw a lot of people singing real high. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I saw people running around, then I saw a ballet, which was fabulous, yeah. my God! <laughs> Oh, it was incredible. It's like Oscar Levant said, the ballet is the fairy's baseball. It's incredible. There are all these people wearing things so tight you can tell what religion they are. It was unreal. There are all these people going, yes, and five, and six, and nine, back again. You know, one of those guys go back to the locker room and go, how you doing? Good game, good game, okay. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that'll be cut away. Yeah. yeah. Let's take these glasses off. I can't look that intelligent that long. Okay. Now, uh, are those aren't real glasses? No, right? put these on, them. actually. No, looks like. Put these on, and one woman in the audience will go, That's the man! <laughs> <laughs> look at you. I look, I, I look like Buddy Ebsen. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> looks great. You had a great year. This has been a real... Uh, yeah, it's been fun. You and I have been on most every magazine so you're far. You're right here, Buddy, on uh, a recent issue of Newsweek magazine. Funny man. They call you... Yeah, the comic genius, some, and I think on inside they call you the funniest man in, in America or something like that? No pressure. Yeah. <laughs> and I've also got a nude 3D fold-out if you check this, huh? <laughs> Look at that, I got it. Ooh, two little eyes, okay. <laughs> so things are going well, you got uh, films and so forth? And, yeah, uh, films that yeah, don't do that well, but that's okay. I was on the plane, I saw the movie coming out, so that doesn't mean it's doing that well. <laughs> this is, uh, this is uh, Club, Club, Club Paradise? Club Paradise, yes. Yeah. But it's okay. It's it's a nice film, really. I, no one gets hurt. It's not like Stallone, you know. It's okay. I feel like Stallone's eventually going to do Hamlet to be or what, you know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what do you think is going to happen with Mr. Rehnquist? Do you think he's basically going to go up for it? Do you think he's going to make it? Yeah, I probably will. He yeah, probably. probably will. I'm sorry, Mr. Thurman. There's a misinterpretation here. I thought in the deed it said sell to a man named Black, not a black man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't. Whoop. Easy, come on there. <laughs> Easy. Oh, man. Robin Williams is here tonight. Carol Leifer is here. And uh, this you guys sound amazing. You're just a wonderful group. You're just... The voice in the band. 
That lovely melody, that funky tune. Um, <laughs> play that funky music, white boys. Let's stay on all night because yeah. NBC all has. Right. Somebody um, call programming and uh, and just tell them we'll be on all night. We'll wake we'll, up, Mr. Tartikoff. Yeah, we'll <laughs> we'll wind up sometime just around the Today Show. It's a then... telethon. We're helping the morally retarded tonight, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Please help. This is our little telethon shot. Well, well, there's another yeah. one. Yeah. Who the hell? Oh, cough again. Who now, uh, <laughs> you know. Uh, I thought you were, were uh, really, really funny on the, uh, the Academy Awards. You did a great job with it's that. It's a scary time. Is that a little un, un... It's a little rough. Yeah. It's really bizarre. If you look out in the first 15 rows, everyone you've ever seen in films, there's Lee Marvin looking at you like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> there's Nicholson going, you make fun of me. I know where you live. <laughs> You're going to host the Emmys, though, right? Well, we're still discussing it. Really? <laughs> no. Yeah. It'll, It'll be, be a fun right. night. Come It'll on now. Right. Yeah, all these yeah. people walking by like this. <laughs> There'll be Robin Leach going, I don't know why I'm standing here, but I'm talking louder than anybody. <laughs> I'm wearing a suit so bad that I look like a sausage wearing another skin, but yet I'm still on TV. <laughs> Wondering why Leach what a strange name, but yet God does sometimes name people. Okay, well. Yeah. Uh, how's your son? How old is oh, he now? Oh, he's great. He's three now. This is, this is Zachary, time. is yeah. his name? Yeah. Zachary still yeah. has that same name, unless he's changed his name to the Muslim <laughs> derivation. <laughs> Zachary, what's your name? I'm no Mustafa Kha. Get away from me. <laughs> he's three years old. It's great. He asks questions all the time. It's yeah. like, why is the sky blue? Well, because we have atmosphere. Why do we have atmosphere? Because we need to breathe. Why do we need to breathe? Who are you, Carl Sagan? <laughs> a year ago, you were sitting in your own caca, and now you want to know everything? <laughs> what is this? I don't know. Oh, Father. Oh, I'm sorry. Daddy feels like nothing. <laughs> God, I can't even spank him. He does something wrong. I go to spank him, and he... You hit me, I'll write a book. Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> trouble. We don't want to do that. Bad news. <laughs> He's fun, though. I try and do little things for him. I, I think, try and plan little trips, like I'll take him to Disneyland. I thought Disneyland would be fun for a three-year-old Mickey Mouse. It'd be wonderful. Mm -hmm. mm -mm, no way. Mickey Mouse to a three-year-old is a six-foot damn rat. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, little buddy! <laughs> <laughs> and there's Goofy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hi, little pal. It's Dad having an orgasm! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, yeah. So, are you, uh, are you spending more time in New York now? Well, just this week, yeah. just to do this. You, you like coming to New York, don't you? I do, because it shakes you up, boy, yeah. it does. What do, you, what do you do for fun when you come here? Oh, wander around and have people go, get away from me. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of people here that... This one guy once walked up to me and said, uh, you that guy from TV? <laughs> I said, no, I'm not. Well, if you are, you better get off TV, because you're no damn good. <laughs> That's why New York station goes, hey, wise up, wise up. <laughs> you're nobody here, pal. You don't even give it a cab. You don't get a cab. You don't get anything. <laughs> You know, it's fun. It's great to walk around. But it, that is that is New York. That's oh, the man. essence of it. This yeah. the essence is basically yeah. going, hey, wise up. <laughs> what are you, the president? Hey, come here, take the hair off. Come on with you. <laughs> oh, big deal. Oh, Mr. Actor, Mr. President. Whoa, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you ever do you ever go on vacation? Do you ever just take like two weeks and say, I'm going to wherever and go someplace? Sometimes, yeah. I'd like to have been to, um, I haven't in a while. I've forgotten. I like to go to Europe. Europe is fun because the French, basically Paris makes New York look very civil, you know? Mm -hmm. You go to Paris and everyone in Paris looks at you like, I don't care who you are, I hate you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I could kill you. I will, here's your food, here's your wine. Here's your wine, there, there, on the table's your wine. <laughs> You're American, I love your money. There's your money, but I hate you. I <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> A cigar. There you go. There Look you at go. that there, boy. Yeah. How are we doing here? We got to get this man to a helicopter. Seriously? Yeah. Get out of here. Do we have a motorcade and everything for you? Oh, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. Mr. Williams is now over the Hudson Freeway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love those things. Now, how long a trip is it? Are you frightened about flying in helicopters? Frightened? Not at all. The pants fit. Woo! <laughs> I don't know. It is a little <laughs> scary, though, when you get those guys in the front seat. There's usually guys, usually Vietnam vets guys, turn around to you going, your first time in a copter? <laughs> 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 Let's just take it under the bridge, Mr. Martin. <laughs> Here we go. You like Wagner? <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> oh, please, Mr. Wizard, I want to come home. <laughs> Thanks for this, though. It's always nice to smoke one of these in a tight airspace. There you go. I remember we were fighting for the Nazis. There they were. <laughs> Hitler was there with Gerbils. No, it was Gerbils. Gerbils, Himmler, Hamster, they're all the same. <laughs> 
<laughs> mm, boy, the, there's a manly cigar. <laughs> take a little something off the end take of there. The, or you, have to, yeah. or you have to bite the end off. Yeah, you, yeah. Really? Yeah, you'd be this sucking you on that for a while. Come over here, boy. Yes, my boy. Come over here. I don't know how to smoke these. I feel like, well, I thought you hey, wanted this is one. just like when you're about five years old and go, here's a cigarette, man. Wow. <laughs> well, I, what, do you bite off the end? How do you do this? You well, you, you've ruined here essentially an $8 cigar. Let's see. Well, now I feel real bad. Oh, no, wait a minute. Let's get something to bust. Anyway. Bust that off there, boy. No, we have to circumcise it and make it Jewish here. Well, now oh, now it's really good. bad. Now, can uh, we, do we have some tape? Well, well, I can we'll, smoke we'll it like this. It makes it look it. like Emma Kelly is what that looks like now. This is right. I can smoke it like this, and it looks like it's my first time. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, it's a Jamaican cigar. You rolled right in here, baby. Yeah. Uh, this man, I'm guessing there's no point in mentioning this because uh, it was probably more than likely all sold out. Uh, Saturday and Sunday, the Metropolitan Opera House here in New York, and right now, uh, he's on his way to Poughkeepsie. God bless you. Thank well, you have sir. a safe trip, Robin. Thanks, Thank bro. you very much. Thanks for this. I'm sorry. I just figured that out. Robin Williams, folks. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks. Good luck. Thanks, Robin. Right back. Three, four, one, two, three.